Hey YouTube, it's your favorite. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And before I start this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. So today, I'm going to give y'all a story time on how I got kicked out of my mama's house. Because I'm fuck her. But anyways, if you're watching this, bitch, fuck you. But anyways, so we finna just rewind. This story finna be all over the place. So if y'all get it, get it. If y'all don't, y'all don't. But I'm finna go back to like months ago. So the real issue of the problem of why I got kicked out is because she moved out. So this is this this is her house. It's eight people living in there. It was me, my boyfriend, our daughter, my twin sister, her son, my uncle, my brother. That's seven people. Oh no, and it was an eighth person, but I'm not gonna name who that is. He was like a brother too, but but he gone now. So yeah, it was like all eight of us living in one house. It's a mad y'all. It's a three bedroom house. And we had this house since like 2013, but I've been leaving in and out the house because people is just so toxic. Like if you have a toxic ass family member, get your shit together and just, you know, get you a job, save your money and get your own fucking place because it ain't safe. It ain't safe at all. Like you real bad got family member that real loud wish your ass was dead and with and praying on your fucking downfall and wish your ass needed that ass. Cause at first I was typed that neat they is, but it's like now that I got the fuck on fuck all these bitches, I done, I done blocked all they is. Like all seven of they is like fuck family because people just be fake as fuck for real. I have to cut my own fucking twin sister off because she wanna be on my motherfucking mama and brother side and they damn sure don't give a fuck about me or my motherfucking daughter. So yeah, she just had to get cut off too. Cause unless your ass ain't got your own motherfucking brain and you still living in that household can't nobody know shit about me. I gotta be quiet because my daughter up, there, up in the room sleeping. But yeah, unless your ass living up in that motherfucking household and you ain't got your own brain, you talking like they is, you acting like they is, you're gonna get cut off. With no fucking problem. Because I ain't got no problem with cutting family off because fuck families. Like, y'all done gave me, y'all done showed me that y'all don't, don't, don't give a fuck so many times. And I fucking ignored the fucking signs because I needed y'all motherfucking me. But I don't need y'all this no fucking more because fuck you hoes. But anyways, this was like months ago. So, this was, this was really the fucking issue. She kept charging people for rent, acting like a landlord as, as usual. She been charging motherfuckers for rent. I think it was like three something at first but we felt like she was pocketing that some of that rent money to herself because bad y'all all of us all eight of us paying fucking rent money and then it was just kept going higher and higher after the fucking months and like who could afford like 500 and some rent every month and we ain't even got a good job on motherfucking self like these minimum wages jobs be charging less the fuck and it's like you got parents in this motherfucking world that don't even want to see your ass doing good in life. So they get, so they going to make sure you living at their fucking house and they going to charge your ass more and more because they don't want you to have your own motherfucking place. But yeah, this is this was back when um she decided to move out and didn't want to tell nobody until the last minute. She's going to text the group chat on my son. Oh, I hope you guys accept my wishes that I want to move out and da 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 this and da 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 that and then it's like a couple days after she would just move her shit out with her friend and I was just like what the fuck like shouldn't she be telling the landlord this or whatever and she didn't even tell the landlord so still to this day she got all my other siblings still there and she's still there still pretending like she fucking weird her. so if motherfuckers have a fucking um my bitch for curses so much if people have, if they got get an inspection or whatever, she gotta act like she's still living there the whole time. She don't even freaking live there no more. So that was, that was the number one red flag for me because it's like that shit bogus as hell. Cause why would you do that? 
And still to this day, I feel like she's pocketing the money. But it's like, I ain't got to deal with it no more. But yeah, that was the first red flag. And then the second red flag, ever since she moved out, my big brother want to act like he run the dang place. Me, my sister, not only two that's paying rent on time, and even if it ain't on time, she's still getting her rent money. I don't think he's giving her any money. He's a grown 27, 28 year old man, and not even giving her her rent money because she wants to baby him all the fucking time. But me and my sister, she gonna make sure, oh, me and her have to fucking pay rent or whatever. That was the second red flag. And then it's like, ever since she fucking left, my brother be doing dummy and shit. He was out here and got a dog, dog chewing up the trash. And then he be leaving the damn dog in the fucking back basement, back downstairs in the basement or in the backyard, pooping, peeing every freaking where. And it's like, every time he come home, he wants to get mad about the stuff. Like we supposed to be cleaning up after his dog went up and then he want to text the group chat. He wants to throw away garbage cans. He wants to dirty up dishes on purpose. He wants to eat up everybody's food, don't care whose it is. And he starts little stuff like that. And then he likes to go in people's room without people's permission. It's like, is we all under this roof together paying the same amount of rent or is you just paying rent and we just living here rent free? Cause that's what the fuck he acting like. He acting like he's the only one that's paying rent. And me and my sister just sitting up uh, staying there room free. And it's like, if we all paying rent together, you need to be acting like you need to be having respectful stuff over everybody else's stuff. Like, stop going to people's rooms. Stop touching people's stuff. It's like, one time I have, it's like plenty of times I had to go grocery shopping and test stuff in a double freaking bag and basically had it. Because that's how bad it was just getting like he just kept eating up everybody's stuff and then when there ain't nothing eating the house he wants to be mad but yeah but me what was really the issue it was it was really getting bad because they were trying to kick us out so like it was like basically they were treating me and my sister the same but me a little bit worse so basically they was trying to replace me. Cause I, t I told y'all, me and my boyfriend and my daughter, we was all staying, like we we was just, it was just us three. We just ran our own motherfucking bitch. So basically we was a freaking hoe. So they tried to kick me and my um, boyfriend and daughter out to put two new people in there. Like, what sense does that make? Like, why the fuck would y'all try to move two new people in there and like, look at the freaking house. Don't nobody want to clean up after each other. No communication. Bathroom always looking dirty. Kitchen always looking dirty. And people like to get mad because no communication in the freaking house. But yeah, my sister gonna text me in the group. She gonna text me on on Facebook. She was like, "This is this was when I was I already got approved for this damn apartment." And. Y'all yeah, already got approved for the apartment. Then she gonna text me something. I said, "Oh, are you are you and your boyfriend still planning on moving out? Because we decided to move two new people in and stuff like that." And I was like, "Thumbs up, type shit." And she was like, "Okay, cool." I'm sitting there looking like, "Did she know?" Boo. Yeah, nah, but. I was sitting out looking like, did she know that we was moving out? Or like, is this some type of plan? Like, whatever the fuck. But whole time, they had a whole nother group chat. I didn't even tell y'all that they had a group chat about, you know, every time. They had a, we had one group chat with all of us in us. Everybody lived in the house. It was only about the rent. She talks to my mama, she talks to group chat only about the freaking rent. Nothing else. Ain't no, can I check up on my grandkids? I'm gonna spend time with my grandkids, nothing that. It was just, where my rent money at? Where my rent money at? Like, she the freaking landlord or whatever. So, um, yeah, after that, she said, um, they decided to move move two new people in. But what really got me is that, why would y'all vote us out? It's like, they just fucking, I feel like they just freaking voted us out. Like, oh, 
Da, da, this, da, da, that. Tell myself, oh, we don't clean up after ourselves. Don't nobody clean up after themselves. The reason why I don't clean up after myself in that house is because don't nobody clean up after themselves in that house. That was the really main issue people so called get tired of. It's because the house be so dirty. First of all, we got kids. And then, no communication in the house. My sister don't clean, my brother don't clean, my uncle barely be there. Like, make it make fucking sense. Like, y'all need to, we need to literally have a sitting down conversation to fucking clean the house. But yeah, they decided to move two new people in. I don't know who these two new people in, but they sure don't know what the hell they're walking themselves into. Because that house is a living hell. It's like, my brother, he gonna be cool for one moment, but once y'all, once motherfuckers start getting used to that house, I pray for you because don't buy no food. You gonna be eating that food all the way up. But yeah, luckily y'all had got fucking approved that day. Moved in. She's time she, she gonna take a group chat talking about some where my rent money at. Talking about she was gonna make a trip to the house. But I was already gone. I wasn't coming back. She talking about she was gonna make a trip to the house because I didn't pay her her little rent money. Rent money was fast seventy five. And I decided not to pay her because for what? What am I paying you for? Then I had text the group chat and I was like, I decided not to pay the rent anymore because basically they voted me out. They voted me and my boyfriend to get kicked out and replace us with two new people. Cause it's like, for what? I am she, they planning on doing this in August. And right now with July, I don't know if they finna move in or what, or they already moved in, I don't care. So yeah, she decided to kick us out. I text the group chat basically cutting their ass off. And I said, Boop. for real. I bought all them ass. And it's like no no turning back. So if you got a toxic family member and that you living with, cut their ass off right now. Get your shit together. It don't matter how old you is because I've been planning on doing this stuff since I was, you know, 16 years old because that's how bad it was it's like fuck your family i've been having traumatized since i was a fucking kid like i got so many stories to tell that she done did that she done did it don't make no fucking sense but it's like now that i got the chance i had got the chance to move out there's no turning back don't turn back at all for real like once your ass you know get your own place you're gonna be happy it's like a quiet, peaceful place. And you ain't got to worry about nothing. You ain't got to worry about no nobody. You ain't got to worry about who walking in and out this motherfucker. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want. No crowded bathrooms, no none of that. So it's like, get your shit together, for real. That's how bad it was. And then, yeah. It's like, I had to cut the ass off. Nobody just wanted to see my child. You know, because my daughter, she got a cousin, too. My nephew, he's three or just, no, he he, he a new four-year-old. They was like, they was like best of friends since we um was in my mama's house. Because my sister, my sister and her son, they lived, uh, me and my daughter, we was living there. But it's like, they was like the best of friends. Her and her cousin, my daughter and her cousin, they was like the best of friends. And I just had to break that up because it's like fake energy for real. And you know, he, my nephew, yeah, he's a boy. And it's like the whole house loves him over my damn daughter. It's like people just have favoritism for real. Same thing with my, me and my sister. It was favoritism, favoritism towards her other than me. Talking about some, oh, you're so, you so quiet and all this and that. I don't care what the fuck. I'm quiet for a fucking reason. Cause it's fuck you What am I talking to you for? I don't have to tell nobody that not really interested in my whole life about my whole life. So, yeah, it's like, if you're in a situation like me, get you a job, get you a decent paying job, save your money, and get you on your break, for real, because family will try to break you, tear you down as much as possible, and I was just going through them little dark moments, for real. Family, family ain't it. It's like, people say blood ain't thicker than water, but I'm going to say the blood is thick. Nah. Water is thicker than blood, for real. That's what I'm trying to say. Because it's like, fuck blood. Because blood ain't shit, like, for real. I could be 50 years old 
not caring that I that that I cut my family off. Because family is not family for real, because family will try to break you. Family will want you to be homeless. Just like a couple months ago before I even moved out and I didn't get my own fucking place. I was just so mad because we was living in an attic. Y'all seen the previous videos. Like, y'all could tell that's a whole freaking attic. And then I got the fucking background covered up with a freaking black curtain, whatever. Because it it's moments where it get cold as hell in the attic. And then it get hot in the summertime. So, people didn't care that we was living in the attic. Like, people would really want us to fucking burn up and die or fucking die in the fucking cold. And they will not care at all. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I had texted her, like, months ago. I had texted a group chat, like, months ago. I was like, um, because my brother, he decided to move from the basement into the person, the eighth person, old room, because he had moved out to Florida or whatever. I had texted a group chat. I was like, can we have that room that my half brother had moved in? He was like, no. Nah. Y'all good, y'all not on the lease, so y'all gotta deal with where y'all at. And I was like, that's bogus as hell because we sitting there with a whole fucking daughter that could fucking die in fucking heat stroke. She could die in the freaking heat and then nobody care. So that's what I was really mad about. I was thinking about all kinds of ways to leave the, the, to leave the house. I was like, I was texting up shelters or whatever the fuck, whatever I can. Cause my damn boyfriend, he was pissed the fuck off. He was ready to go off on anybody, but it's like, if you know, if you in somebody's household that's not yours, it's like you're going to have to be respectful regardless because it's like you under their roof and we ain't got nowhere else to go. So it's like we do kind of got to, we do kind of got to deal with what we in. But he ain't care. He was like, oh, this stuff not right. This stuff not right. I'm going to say something to my brother and stuff. But it's like. I'm like, I was just in there like, no, nah, don't do that because we in a household and if you say something, everybody else going to jump in or whatever and all this. So yeah, he was mad about that. And I was mad too because it's like, we in this hot ass attic and then it's an extra room. We It's a basement and an extra room and then nobody want to give us the extra room. And it's like, that's bugger just here because why the fuck? They talking about, so, oh, you ain't on the lease, so you good. Then my mom's talking about, oh. You got to take that up with your brother. Why do I have to take it up with him? If I'm parent, if I'm, I don't care if I'm on, if I'm not on the lease. If I'm parent renting here, I have rights as much as anybody else do. I have rights just like anybody else doing that damn house. So it's like, do it freaking matter? Cause it really don't. People sitting there bringing females, they boyfriends, all that, and causing a whole chaos in the freaking neighborhood. But it's like, I had to move out because I was sick of it. And it's like, after that, I was trying to find me and learn number all that because I was going to expose that. Because I'm like, I was going to say, oh, she not living there no more. She trying to act like a landlord and she been charging people rent and not telling y'all. But, yep, yeah, that's the end of it. If y'all got toxic family members, it's just time to cut their ears off right now because it ain't it. It is not it. Like, do it now before it be too late, for real. Like, you don't want to be homeless that on the street. But, yeah, I had a text to group chat. I was like, oh, I'm going to move out. She was like, oh, don't nobody care. If the least you could have did was tell us so we could catch up on the rent or whatever. That, that's the thing that I was not trying to do was tell them so they could catch up on the rent. I was trying to not tell them so they could be behind on the rent. Because what is I'm giving y'all a warning for? I want y'all to struggle just like y'all want me to struggle. Because then nobody care about us. Don't nobody care about us being out on the street like they was trying to, oh, I'm going to need y'all to find out a place now. I'll get so we can move with two new people. And you're like, what kind of stuff is that? Like, just imagine if I didn't find my own place in town and they was trying to move two new people in. We would have been out on the freaking streets. And when nobody care, when none of they is care. So it's like, I'm glad I got up out of there. And I text the group chat, like, Oh, I'm not finna pay rent. And it was like July 2nd or whatever. And you know, just it'd be like the third day on a month in the month. That's when rent wanna be late. That's when rent is gonna be late. So yeah, she was mad time I'm finna, I'm finna make a trip to the house and do what? What you was gonna do, hon? What the hell was you gonna do? But yeah, that was it. So that's how I, I had to leave. I had to get up out of there. 
that that place one for me. So I had to, I left, cut everybody off, so nobody won't check up on me. None of that because people be fake. They be trying to act like they care, but really don't care. Like, or they care and pretend like they don't care. Like, keep that, keep that away from me. Keep that fake energy away from me. But anyway, yeah, like for real, this is the end of the story time. It's kind of long, but this is the end of the story time. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And give me some more ideas in the comments down below so I can post my videos. Because I'm going to be a full-time YouTuber now. I'm going to get back into this. But yeah, make sure y'all like. This is so dark. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if y'all going through this situation too. Because I know it's it's a couple people. It's a couple people. I already know a couple people my dang said are going through this situation. But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And you know. Let me know what y'all think in the video, whatever. If y'all got comment, feedback, whatever, let me know down below. Bye.